Yep. Uh, hello, YouTubers. Uh, 12 inch rocket stove update. Uh, I got the riser in. We went up uh, 20 inches past the top of, of the uh, right here, or 20 inch past, uh, I guess about 22 inches, I guess all past this. And then we cut our barrel down and to uh, 24 inches to be, just be 4 inches above. Now, this thing should, since you can put so much more wood in it, it should uh, release an enormous amount of BTU, right? Uh, one thing I haven't said previously, and that is, is how much surface area your sticks have makes a big difference. A big log doesn't have as much surface area as a little stick does, like you, we're burning in uh, traditional rocket stoves. And so the little stick with the more surface area breaks down and, and it's, it's quite easier. And that's another reason why uh, the small stoves are so efficient. Uh, another thing that I, I should mention here is that somebody brought it up and said, oh my goodness, this thing is, uh, you know, most people use refractory materials inside this. Uh, this is not traditional cob. This is sand, two to one, with Hawthorne refractory clay. It's $25 for a 100-pound bag. And uh, 3,000 degrees is uh, is used in the kilns at the hottest. It is the hottest uh, available uh, that I can find, according to the pottery lady. And uh, it's dug out of the ground in Missouri uh, in a mine there, and they run it through a screen and bag it up. But anyway, uh, so it, it should withstand. I'd like to point out too that the uh, the top, the very top of the burn chamber, is uh, fire break. So the part of the very top, eight inches wide, right down the center of this, is fire break. So we hope, and then it's the Hawthorne refractory clay on top of that. So uh, this is a big experiment. We are hoping that this works out. Uh, one thing, uh, brick weighs six pounds a piece, and so we went up uh, 20 inches. And uh, we figured it up, and so that brick in there is an extra uh, 360 pounds of thermal mass in there. So, uh, <clears throat> and you can see we've already got our flange on here, and uh, we're going to come out about oh about a foot, and then go up. Now, this thing is going to have such that it's getting outside air, so this thing's going to breathe it's good, but it's really going to produce too many BTUs. Um, that small decorative rocket stove that I've got, uh, when I put a good like shop waste out of it, hardwood shop waste, uh, I'm getting the, uh, the black pipe cherry red. This thing here probably <laughs> has the ability to burn that barrel right just to clean through it. So when I say we're going to use water as a thermal mass, how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to bring you in for a little close-up show you what we're going to do next. So, uh, what you'll see here is, is a coil. Now that's 3 8 inch copper, right? And that's laid in there. And this is just a piece of uh, all light shield, right? So what we're doing is we got that copper wound there, right there, and that's 20 foot, 3 8 and now we're going to use this as a form and we're going to uh, cob that and so that cob is going to be filled in around that copper and so that's going to insulate that and we're going to pump water right off the top of that barrel and the amount of water we top, uh, push around that coil will determine how cool we're able to keep that and uh, hopefully keep that barrel from burning out right there by, by keeping that cool with copper uh, we're keeping it cool with water for circulating through that copper, but uh, I'll give you a little shot. We kind of put some decorative stuff on the, uh, on the stove. Give you a full facial frontal here, and we went ahead and did the whole bench. I'm going to back up so we get a bigger, bigger shot of the whole thing. It's not done, it's going to need another. You see we cobbed up that hole, you see it's not quite drying up, but it is getting blended up. There's the bench all the way down. 
one other thing I wanted to point out, and that is, is that down on this other end of the bench, I'm going to zoom you out here real quick. And I'm going to go down to this end of the bench. <clears throat> and I have a clean out there. So very, very likely we're going to wind up with a fan on there, which that goes out, that tees about a foot out in here and it goes straight out that wall. Well, we put a fan there and it's sucking air from the outside. It's going to blow down that bench and then it enters the side of that. So, yeah. So I'm going to give you a shot here. Looking in there, so you got about two and a quarter, two and a half inches all the way around there with the, around the brick stack. Give you a side shot of the. Okay, so we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna shut this down, and uh, we're going to uh, cob that in, and then uh, we'll give you an update when we get the final code on it, and. Uh, show you what we're going to do on top of the cob on top there and then when we get in our uh, thermal mass our water in there's thermal mass so okay guys um, thanks for watching